Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm back with another video and it's going to be another chit chat. Get ready with me and kind of updating you on how the life has been going on lately. Uh, so I hope you enjoy watching this kind of videos. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. I love chit chatting with you and my favorite part about this kind of videos is just going through the comments and reading your suggestions or opinions. So I really appreciate uh, you leaving comments as well because I'm very curious to see what you guys think. Today I'm having a very busy day. I'm a little bit stressed out. So I have a lot of plans for today. We'll see how this day goes. Uh, but for right now, I um, just gave kids their breakfast. They are getting ready to go to school. Preston came home from work early uh, to take over watching Aurora so I can start this day and run a huge amount of errands that I need to run today. So I need to put on a little bit of makeup just to make myself look a little bit more awake and a little bit more put together. But before I continue with today's video, I would like to introduce you to the sponsor for today's video. It's the brand This Year. I got their new package right here. As you guys know, I work with them for a while and I absolutely adore their brand. This Year makes very high quality perfumes, also candles and the home fragrances. So I got one of their newest scents right here. This is how the box looks like when you receive it and inside you find your scent. So this one is the Floral Violet. Uh, top notes, watermelon, pomelo, and strawberry. And for a very affordable price, you receive hefty 50 milliliters of perfume, which is so much more affordable than perfumes that you can find in Ulta or Sephora. And if you don't want to order it online, the Sea perfumes are also available in Walmart right now. I love that the Sea perfumes use recyclable glass and cardboard in the packaging. They are very environmentally friendly. The only plastic they use is inside of this cap right here and everything else is recyclable. I love this fine mist that comes out of there. And I love most of their scents. This one is very floral but very light at the same time. They constantly run different promotions on their website. Basically, more you buy, more you save. I have a whole collection of their perfumes and their candles, and I absolutely love all of them. I highly suggest for you to try them. I'm going to post the links down below. Please check them out, guys. And now, back to the video. Right now, it's 7.44, and I have about 15 minutes before I need to leave um, to take kids to school. So I'm going to hurry up and do just a little bit of makeup today. I'm having a crazy busy day today. I'll give you a little bit of my itinerary for today. So Preston got off work early because I asked him to switch with me and watch Aurora. I usually take her to take kids to school with me, but today right after I take kids to school, I need to take the car for car service. It's like way overdue, the oil change and the whole shebang. And I had to schedule it and they had like very limited selection of times. So um, instead of my original plan was that Preston would pick us up from the car dealership. So in my small car that Preston drives right now, I do not have any car seats installed. So instead of doing this whole thing, we decided that it will be easier that Preston would come home, stay with Aurora, and I will take cars to the car service. I'm planning to either stay there and wait for car to be done, if it's just like one, one and a half hours, but if it's two hours or more, I will probably get Uber and um, come back home. I need to do some editing of the videos and then I will also have about one hour at home before I need, I need to leave for my doctor's appointment. And my doctor's appointment is about one hour away, so I need to drive there. I'm hoping I'll be done with appointment within one hour, so I have one hour to come back to pick up kids from school then me and Cairo and Xavier going to Cairo social skill class uh, which is also about 30 minutes away if there is no traffic and then after and then Cairo is going to do his social um, skill class me and Xavier are just going to hang out and do their homework and do his homework and stuff like that and then after that I promise to take them to the trampoline park and it will be probably right around 7 p.m. Uh, they wanted to go during weekend, but it's crazy busy on the weekend. I didn't want to do it and um, You know, it's a little bit further drive just for like one thing in that area So we decided to do it today after school So it's very in eventful day very stressful on top of everything Aurora didn't sleep all night today. She didn't sleep all night yesterday and her nap was only 30 minutes 
So I am exhausted. I am mostly dead inside. I don't think I actually went ahead and I ordered melatonin for her. I think that's what's gonna what we're gonna try because these restless nights are just I miss sleeping and there is no sleeping. Because I co-sleep with Aurora, she doesn't sleep. Uh, we just got rid of her crib. She never liked the crib. She always wanted to be, you know, sleeping with us, which is fine, but I'm not getting any sleep. And she is just, today she was a little congested, so on top of everything, she is just not feeling that great. And then on top of everything, Xavier came over at 5.50 to my room. He was scared. Uh, he probably had a bad dream. And when he came to the room, Aurora woke up. So she finally got up at 5.50. And I'm exhausted. I'm like, I feel like zombie. But it is what it is. I'm, every time, I'm just hoping that the next time, the next night will be better. And for the past few days, it has not gone better. Um, so my doctor's appointment today that I wanted to actually ask your opinion about so I scheduled the mental health appointment Because of the I feel like lately I've been kind of depressed since my mom left and You guys see I gained quite a bit of weight since the birth of Aurora and I feel like in life of every person um, There is different periods of your of your life. So right now um, I'm focused not on my looks, but I'm focusing on my family and the kids and just raising them and stuff like that. But I feel like to raise them uh, properly, it's important for me to be not just taking care of them, but also be happy and, you know, so they would not see the stressed out part of me. So that's why I need to go to see the specialist and see what they think. I don't think I'm going to consider any prescription medications but I feel like this lack of sleep really affecting me I don't have energy during the day at all um, but again I cannot take any like Zikwil or anything to help myself fall asleep because Aurora wakes up so much at night that I just can't like I need to be up with her if she wakes up but I just want to see what they suggest so today I'm going for evaluation I'm gonna do this eyebrows real quick because I need to focus or they're not gonna look symmetrical. Okay, so one eyebrow is done, looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna do the second one. Okay, I'm done with my eyebrows. So this is basically what I wanted to ask your opinion about because I know there is some kind of stigma that's around, uh, you know, mental health struggles. Like, you know, if you have a depression or anxiety, People sometimes look at you funny, but I think it's important to take care of this kind of questions just to be the best version of yourself. But how do you feel about it? At least in Russia where I came from, um, using psychiatrists or psychologists, it's usually kind of like, why? Why would you need that, that? you know? So what your opinion about? Do you ever uh, struggle with stuff like this, like depression or anxiety or anything else just to and basically what what you do about it I know there is a lot of like self-care stuff uh, like taking a bath or you know things like that but I feel like with the level of stress that we currently live in this is just not enough so yeah what do you guys do and also I don't know if I'm going to proceed with this whole thing but I'm at least going to try and see what the next step would be and what the recommendations would be okay, so I have five minutes before I need to leave and I'm almost done I'm just going to let my eyeliner dry and use my mascara and I will be done so a lot of things going on and on top of everything else I just paid the registration for my car and I received in the mail that my car needs to, to be smoked um, as you guys know I have the red car that I got in 2015 so this is the first time they require smoke because it just turned eight years old but the problem is that I have an engine light on in that car so I need to take care of that and just to do diagnostic and repairs this is like additional money that I just do not have right now Aurora just had a birthday two days ago I'm actually going to post a little vlog 
how her birthday went um, in a couple of days from now on my YouTube channel. But it's like the whole reason we didn't really do much is because, you know, you know, like financial situation right now. And now I need to get my car fixed and Preston's car is not working, so he's driving my little car. Um, so it's like the whole thing. And I feel like I already spoke with you about starting my new business about like a balloon and party decorations. I'm just so scared to start anything right now and I just don't have time. The life has been so stressful and especially now that my mom left, I don't have much of the support in the morning. It's very hard because I usually have restless nights and then I have to get kids ready and dress for school, take them to school and you know, uh, keep Aurora occupied and this whole thing. But now um, in a week or so, Preston's work schedule is gonna change for free moms for holiday season and now instead of being gone in the morning till like afternoon ish he's gonna be gone pretty much all day so it will be just me on my own with the kids taking them from school and the whole thing so it's like things are piling up you know sometimes we have those times in life when it just feels like it's just getting more and more stressful. When is that gonna start being less stressful? So right now is this time in my life. All right, and just like that, I'm gonna wrap it up with my makeup. Thank you so much for listening all this rumbling. I hope you're going to leave your comments down below. Let me know what's going on in your life. How's the stress levels, how you manage them, how you take care of yourselves and stuff like that. I really appreciate all of your opinions. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. And until the next time, I will see you guys soon. Bye guys!